Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on Walter's model under the chapter Dividend Decision under the subject Strategic Financial Management. Again, a very important topic for all the SEM6 students of TYBUMS. Now, before starting with the sum, we'll have to first go through various uh, formulas. Okay, and thereafter we can, you know, solve any kind of sum based on this particular topic. So let us see one by one all the formulas. Okay, under Walter model, the main formula is where we are going to find the value of share is equal to D plus R upon KE into E minus D upon KE, where V stands for the market value of the share. R is the rate of return on inv investment. K is the cost of capital. E is the earning per share and D is the dividend per share. This is the main formula. Okay, I would like everyone to note down this formula because in each and every sum, this is the formula that we'll have to apply. Now, along with the main formula, there can be few things extra which can be asked. Okay, for deciding whether it is optimum payout ratio. Now, sometimes they can ask you, is it an optimum decision? So, here are the three conditions. If your R, that is your rate of return, if it is more than your cost of capital, the firm should have zero payout and make investment. If your rate of return is less than your cost of capital, the firm should have 100% payout. And if uh, the both of them are same, the firm is in difference between dividend and investment. Meaning, if your rate of return is more than your cost of capital, the firm should not give any dividend. If it is less, then the firm should give full dividend. And otherwise, it is up to the company whether they want to give or not give. Okay? So there are these three conditions that needs to be, uh, at times they can ask you to say whether it is optimum or not. So that can be noted down. Other than this, there are few other formulas, uh, supporting formulas which are required. <coughs> dividend is equal to dividend percent into earning if the dividend is given in percentage form. Earning per share, uh, if not given, the formula will be total earning upon number of shares okay if they give you total earnings so we need earning per share similarly dividend per share is total dividend upon number of shares cost of equity or cost of capital ka formula is one upon pe ratio where pe stands for price earning ratio when uh, dividend payout ratio is given then the dividend will be dividend payout ratio into the number of in, into the value of earnings and rate of return is total earning upon total capital so these are all supporting formulas which you can use under the sums okay so see that you'll even note down all these formulas okay now based on all these formulas and the rule let us see how to solve problem sum based on walter's model okay now this is the first question under walter's method under the chapter dividend decision we'll read the question once uh, the question is given that from the following information supplied to you Determine the theoretical market value of equity share of the company as per Walter's model. They have given you the total earnings of the company, uh, dividend paid, that is total dividend, number of shares outstanding, that is the nothing but number of shares, price earning ratio, and rate of return on investment. Now always remember, uh, in order to solve the sum, you need four values. Number one, you need earning per share you need dividend per share you need rate of return and you need cost of capital okay these are the four most important things that you require once you have these four values, you can easily substitute into the value of walter's model and get the final answer okay so now let us see one by one what data is available and what we can use basically okay so now very first thing that you require is your e Okay, that is nothing but earning per share. Now remember, earning per share should be per share ka value. But in the question, they have given you, you know, total earnings. So whenever total earning is given, uh, earning per share ka formula, we'll have to, we'll note down the formula first. Okay. In order to find earning per share, the formula will be total earnings. upon number of shares okay now if you can look into the question they are giving you total earning is rupees 5 lakhs and the number of shares are 50, sorry 1 lakh so when you divide you will get rupees 5 per share okay so our earning per share is rupees 5 after we find that we need to find dividend per share d 
again that will be total dividend upon number of shares we are using this formula because they are not given as per share they are giving you the total amount so number of shares so now the total dividend given in the question was 3 lakhs and the number of shares uh, which are given in the question is 1 lakh so the total comes to rupees 3 okay the next thing is we need to find uh, uh, they have given you rate of return directly so r is given to us directly that is 15 percent that is 0 0.15 last thing which i require is cost of capital now cost of capital they haven't given me directly so we'll use the formula cost of capital is nothing but one upon price earning ratio now in the sum in the question they have given you the price earning ratio that is eight so it will be 1 divided by 8 which will come to 0 0.125 okay once we have got all the four data now it is the the most simplest part we just need to substitute so value of share we need to find the value of share so v is equal to as per walter's model the formula is dividend plus rate of return upon cost of capital into e that is earning minus dividend the whole thing upon cost of capital okay so once you get this we will substitute the value d is the dividend that was rupees 3 plus rate of return is 0 0.15 upon 0 0.125 into Earning is 5, dividend is 3, the whole thing upon 0 0.125. Okay, now very simple, just remember the procedure how to solve, okay. First we will subtract 5 minus 3, that will become 2. Then you divide 0 0.15 uh, with 0 0.125, whatever answer you get, you multiply by 2, you add to 3. That's a numerator, divided by 0 0.125 and that will give you a final answer approximately amount would should be 43.2 rupees per share that is the value of share as per walters model okay now along with this uh, this is the part what we found now that asked us what should be the optimal dividend uh, you know they are giving you a question see if you look at the last part of the question they are, are you satisfied with the current dividend policy now in order to answer this is very simple you know previously we noted the three optimal situation where we need to compare the value of r with ke so now you look here your r and ke ka value you have to check and see which one is the greater one the r was 1 uh, 15% and ke was 12.5% so in this case your r is rate of return basically is greater than cost of capital and whenever such thing happens when your rate of return is more than your cost of capital the solution comes to us no dividend shall be declared okay when your rate of return is more than a cost of capital the company should not declare any dividend and vice versa if the rate of return is less than cost of capital a hundred percent dividend should be declared by the company so this was the very first sum based on walter's model again now we're going to jump to the next one a little different variation let us see how to do that okay now let us see the next question okay now the question says reads out that the earning per share of a company is rupees 8 the rate of capitalization application is 10 percent so they are giving you earning per share they are giving you cost of capital the company has before, before it an option of adapting 50 70 and 100 percent dividend payout ratio so three different payout ratios are given to us compute the market price of the company quoted uh, share as per walter's model if it can earn a return at 15%, 10% or 5% on its retained earning. So now here we have been given three different dividend payout ratio and three different rate of returns. Okay, so what we'll be doing here is we will be solving the sum uh, in three parts. Okay, first we'll take up uh, when the dividend payout ratio is 50. 
Under that, we'll have three subtypes where we'll have, you know, we'll have at 15%, at 10%, and 5%. Okay, so basically, we are going to solve the sum in, in 3 by 3. So it will be nine values that we'll be finding out. Okay, now before starting the sum, what we'll do here is we'll first note down the formula. Now, everyone knows the formula. Under Walter's method, value of share is equal to dividend plus rate of return upon you know, cost of capital. So R, we can just write this as R into E minus D, the whole thing upon cost of capital. So I'm keeping the formula constant, so I don't need to show again and again the formula for each. I wrote the, uh, the formula once and then now directly we can substitute into the values. Okay. So let us see one by one. First, what we are going to do is when we'll take number one, when dividend payout is 50%. So I'll write here number one, when dividend payout equals to 50%. Now under that, we have three condition. A, when your returns are 15%, that is 0 0.15. B, when your returns are 10%, so that will be 0 0.10. And C, when your returns are 5%, so that will be 0 0.05. Okay, the formula remains the same. Okay, so chalo, let us see one by one the value. Now, dividend, they said here the dividend is 50%. Now, remember dividend payout is 50%. Dividend is always calculated on the earning per share. Okay, dividend is always calculated on earning per share. The earning per share in the question is 8 rupees. So 8 rupees into 50% will give you 4 rupees. So our dividend is 4 plus return in the first case will be 0 0.15. The cost of capital given in the sum is already given in the sum as 0 0.10%. So that is 0 0.10 into earning which was 8 minus dividend which is 4 upon cost of capital which is 0 0.10 again the solving logic is same you first minus you divide you multiply them whatever answer you get you add it with 4 you get your numerator you divide by your denominator and your, you should get your value of share as per the first part or subtype as rupees 100 Okay, I would like everyone to solve it and check if all of you will get that rupees 100 as your value of that particular share. Okay, that's the very first type or very first part that we did. Okay, now the second order in the second part where your rate of return is 10. Okay, again, we are finding the value of share. Dividend again the same thing. The earning per share was 8. It's got 50% we are going to take. So that's going to be 4 rupees. The dividend. Plus the rate of return is now in this case 0 0.10. Upon 0 0.10 cost of capital. Earning was 8. Dividend is 4. Upon 0 0.10. Okay again same thing. You minus. You divide. You multiply. Whatever answer you get. Add it to 4. And then divide with the denominator. The value of share that you all should get in this case is rupees 80. Again, we jump to the third one. Okay, again, dividend remains the same, which is 4. The rate of return is 0 0.05 upon cost of capital. Again, 8 minus 4, that is earning minus dividend upon 0 0.10, that is cost of capital. Same logic of solving, you get the answer as rupees 60. Okay, so that was the very first part where the dividend payout is 50%. Now let us take the second one. What if now the dividend payout equals 75%? So earning into 75%. Okay, this was dividend payout at 50%. Now we are going to do dividend payout at 75%. So 8 rupees is earning per share into 75% will give you 6 rupees. So now our dividend is going to be 6 rupees. Again under that we will have 3 sub condition where your rate of return is 15%. Rate of return is 10% and rate of return is 5%. Again we are finding the value of shares of V is equal to dividend. 75% of 8 rupees earnings is 6 rupees. So your dividend now is 6. 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो इन टू अर्निंग माइनस डिविडेंड अपॉन कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल सेम यू माइनस डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाई एड डिवाइड योर आंसर दैट यू शुड गेट इज रुपीज नाइनटी फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट अगेन डिविडेंड इज सिक्स द रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो अपॉन कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल अर्निंग माइनस डिविडेंड अपॉन कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल The answer that you all should get for the second part is rupees eighty. Same way for the third, six uh, plus zero point zero five upon zero point one zero, eight minus six upon zero point one zero. The answer that you all should get is rupees seventy. Okay, this was based on dividend payout when it is seventy five percent. And now we come to the last. We jump to the last part. That's the third part. What if your dividend payout, dividend payout is a hundred percent? So hundred percent is the hundred percent of earning. So eight into hundred percent is eight rupees. Again, we have three condition. When R is fifteen percent, when your your B part, when your R is 0.10 and when your r is 0.05 formula remains the same so v is equal to dividend in our case is now 8 rupees because 100% plus 0.15 upon 0.10 into 8 minus 8 upon 0.10 in that case your final value should have been rupees 80 Okay, because when you divide, you multiply with zero. The value will be zero. So it's just eight upon one upon ten, or uh, uh, you know, point oh one. In the second part, it will be again eight plus zero point one zero upon zero point one zero into eight minus eight upon zero point one zero. Again, you will get the same value as eighty. And for the last one, eight. Plus zero point zero five upon zero point one zero into eight minus eight upon zero point one zero. Again, you will get the answer as rupees eighty. So this is how you all had to solve. Uh, you know the sum where they had given you multiple options. Okay, the formula is very simple. You just need to get those values, and once you get the value, you just need to substitute it into the formula. Okay. Chalo, with this we were able to solve two problem sums under the walter model under the chapter dividend decision i hope everyone have understood that with that we will be ending this video thank you